first good snow of the winter. So pretty. Winter came really late this year, it seems. It's been mild so far. Okay, let's go. This way. This way. Come on. Huxley's not sure. <laughs> oh, let's go. He's pulling. Come on. It's really hard to drink coffee and walk at the same time. This morning I'm going to be working on editing one of my videos that hopefully you'll be seeing before I post the one that I'm filming right now. And I just use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. I really like this program a lot. And for me it's very user friendly. And I've also tried Adobe um, Premiere Pro, which is great, but it's a little bit more cumbersome in my opinion. So yeah, I do all of my videos here. This is where all of my clips get placed in this little timeline down here. Um, and this program, they do have a free version of this program that you can use for, I think, free for 90 days. They have a 90 day trial, but if you renew the trial every time they put out an update, you can actually extend that for quite a long time. I think I used it for, gosh, maybe six months or more when I was first starting out and just trying to get a feel for whether or not I want to act actually buy the program, which is like 300 bucks. So I finally did buy the program and I'm really happy with it. I use it all the time. And then I just put all of my footage and videos and everything on this little external hard drive. This is a Samsung portable, let's see, SSD T7. And this is awesome. This is a terabyte and it's really small and it stays really well connected to my computer. So that is how I organize all of my clips. And this is actually the second one of these that I've bought since I started doing YouTube videos. So it holds a lot, but video files take up so much space on my computer that I don't want to actually keep them on my computer. And this is just a nice way to keep everything kind of portable and um, I can just unplug it when I'm done working on it for the day. So there. And I've always got my trusty sidekick, Huxley. He likes to sit on my legs. He's just like determined, even though I've tried to tell him that's not really that comfortable for me. But I let him do it because I love him. It is now 2.12. I just finished my couch recovering video finally and I've got it uploading and I may try to make a trip to the thrift store or to TJ Maxx or Home Goods to try to find some more Christmas decorations, a tree skirt, maybe look around at other things that might be interesting and yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I need to eat something and I just need to get out of the house a little bit. Okay, I decided to stop in at a place called City Rescue Mission Thrift in Lansing. I have not been to this thrift store before, but Lansing has a lot of really great thrift stores, actually. Several that I have not been to. This one closes in like an hour and a half, and I just wanted to pop over here really quick before they close. 
because it took me a little longer to edit my video than I thought it would. But yeah, I'm kind of, I have a several things that I'm always on the lookout for. I'm always on the lookout for jeans. Um, right now I'm looking for maybe some Christmas decorations or something that I can make a tree skirt out of. Um, always pop in and look at their sweaters, no matter what thrift store I go to. Um, I look at shoes. I look at um, all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to see what they have. And I might go to one other thrift store that I really like that's just down the street from this one. And then if I still feel up to it and it's not too late, I might go to Home Goods and look at their Christmas stuff. <music> find what I was looking for in there. Um, they had a good bit of stuff and if I had been looking for clothing I probably would have spent a little bit more time in there today but that was a rabbit hole I did not want to go down yet. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go over to the um, Volunteers of America. That one is like one of my favorite ones here so far that I have found in Lansing besides the oh, what's the other one? St. Vincent de Paul. I really like that one too. That one's closed I think. Anyway, I'm going to head over to the Volunteers of America and try to peruse through there really quick. That's a really big one, so I'm going to try to get through there quick. anything in there. I did, I saw a few things that I might have gotten, but I ended up talking myself out of them. And now it's dark. So I think I'm just going to go home and not go to home goods. Getting a little hungry and I just want to go home and get cozy. So that's what I'm going to do. I found the prettiest tree skirt at home goods today. It was bananas in there. Huxley is really showing out. I just got home and he is going crazy on his squeaky toys. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I love this. Love it. So pretty. And it was the last one like this too. Okay, I think that is all I have for you today. That was kind of my weekend wrapped up sporadically in 10 minutes. Um, I did have a viewer that requested that I share some of my favorite books and sewing resources. So I'll definitely be doing that. I think that is such a good idea. And if you guys have any ideas for things that you'd like me to share, any sort of behind the scenes stuff about running Pattern Scout or even just sewing resources or anything related to that, just let me know, leave me a comment below um, and I'd be happy to share. I wasn't really sure what to share over the last few days because I didn't have anything really big going on. But I thought, you know what, I gotta get this vlog out here. Um, I'm trying to stick to getting some more things posted and I do have some more things planned for the next couple of weeks, kind of planning for 2022. So I hope to be sharing some more of that with you guys, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye. No, sir. No.
Hey, no, that is not for you. Do not tear up the tree skirt. This little man tore up my tree skirt last year. Can't be trusted. Bad.